Welcome everybody to another YouTube exclusive Rob episode here. We are out of the trial, we are in the daily life. Let's see what the heck is up this time. Here we go. Let's jump into it. I'm not sure exactly what we're supposed to be doing right now. But I'm sure we'll figure it out. Um, Oh yeah, we have to go to the dining hall. That would make sense. Here we go. None. You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? Sorry, I'm not feeling so great today. Mm, you really think a tired excuse like that is gonna work? Will? Huh? Are you allowed to talk again? <laughs> I don't recall giving you permission. <laughs> huh? I, I just thought, I mean, since the day had passed, it maybe had reset? <laughs> Sorry, please don't hate me. Whatever my punishment is, I'll accept it. I'll hang from a sign from my neck that says, Bad girl, I'll, I'll clean your room with my toothbrush. <laughs> if you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. <laughs> uh, thank you. I, I won't make any more d disgusting comments, I promise. If I do, you can stuff my mouth full of trash. As long as it's you and no one else, I, I don't mind. <sighs> it's no use, she's disgusting to the bone. Uh, uh, no, anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. <laughs> Not cool. This is worse than being late for lunch, a date, for your wedding, for anything. <laughs> well, maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not gonna show up anymore. I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. The best thing to do right now is just to keep quiet. Whatever her reason, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so... Oh yeah, you still have her key, right? Oh, are you looking for Miss Kiri Giri? Ah, what do you want now? I'm right, right? You're wondering where Miss Kiri Giri is, right? Do you know where she is? Hmm, well, it's hard to say. Huh? Huh? You don't know either? Nanda. It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here, to try and prod us for information. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is and they name it some indie bullcrap? Uh, uh, yes. I, I feel like I'm getting whiplash the way you change the subjects like that. Thank goodness, it looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just fine last night, which could mean... No. Maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Could she have been right about that? Nah, nah. So, was I right? You're looking for Miss Kirigiri. Any idea where she might have gone? <laughs> we have no idea. <laughs> and even if we did know, we wouldn't tell you. <laughs> for serious. <laughs> hmm, I see. <laughs> well, fine. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sayonara, suckers! As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. Mm. So, what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? <laughs> it would seem that way. Dabi. Where the heck could she have gone? Mm. Don't you think we should all go look for her? <laughs> and how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't see the locator. Uh, yeah, how can he not know where she is? So strange. Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice. Where could that be? We spent the rest of breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we returned to our rooms. Huh. We got a pretty limited options for uh, people to hang out with now. Whew. Breakfast didn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. I feel like this is more than just me staying up late last night. Huh. Here we go. Where is everybody? Oh. One's here, one's in the garden, two in the garden, one in the hallway, and I believe that's everybody who's left. So they're all on the fourth, fifth floor, whatever the newest floor is. Here we 
we go. On our way up, let's try and see if we can go into the, uh, the, um, headmaster's place. And also into here. I really don't want to go in. If I have any choice at all, I never want to go in there again. Hmm. We're gonna hold off on that for now. Pour some coffee while we walk. That is the voice of Nick Way. Uh, I forget where the stairs were. Oh, okay. Headmaster. It's locked. Kyoko said Sakura had broken the lock on this door. Does that mean it's been fixed already? Well, I should have known it wouldn't be that easy. Alright. What else? The office? That says writing something tools. These three kanji. I can't read the, the middle one. Left one says uh, writing. Right one says tools. Oh. Oh, that's weird. Boongu.com. Boon would be the writing. Gu would be the tools. But what's the middle kanji then? There's no... Uh, there's no... Uh, pronunciation for it. That's weird. Hooray for knowing some of the kanji! I'm working on it. Alright, so let's go this way. We're on floor 4F. We want to go to 5F. Um, and who do we even want to hang out with? Maybe uh, Byakuya since we never get a chance to? I think he was in the garden. Oh wait, this is in the garden. This is where Aoi is. Yes. Even if it's hard, you have to endure. Endure, endure! That's a quote from the famous marathon runner Samuel Wanjiru. But every person's endurance has a limit. Uh, I guess we could do stuff with Hina. I think we need to change the pace. And when I think I need to change the pace, I can only think of 50 laps in the pool. I changed my pace with Hina in the pool. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Uh, crap. What kind of presents do we want to give? Can't give her that. We could give her the lunchbox. Stuff with rice, ginger, carrots, peppers, mushrooms, and more. It's meat free, so your vegetarians are covered too. Alright, that's possibly a good one to do. What is this one? I feel like that's a little uh, presumptuous <laughs> to give her an engagement, a uh, replica engagement ring. Fresh bindings? Maybe that. Um, did we give her one of these already? I feel like we would have had to have given her one of these.
Let's do the fresh bindings, I guess. Thanks, I'm super stoked. Does that mean she liked it? Uh, hey, Makoto. I'm so tired. Yeah, you look pretty tired. What happened? I woke up earlier than normal this morning, so I decided to do a push-up, sit-up, squat set. I ended up doing a thousand of each. Whoa, well, that would explain it. Tired, so tired. I want something sweet. I want those things you get when you mix flour, sugar, butter, eggs, and deep fry them. What Heenit's looking for is, uh, deep fried as donut, maybe? Or maybe churro? Deep fry would be churro, I guess. Are you talking about churros? <laughs> oh, man, churros are good too. Crunchy on the outside, chewy on the inside. It's almost the same as what I'm craving. I guess you could probably put them in the same category, huh? So it's similar to churros. She's looking for donuts? You want some donuts? Don't tell anyone, but there's actually a bunch of frozen donuts in the warehouse. Throw those in the microwave for a few seconds and just imagine. Imagine the warm chewiness of that donut. You know what I'm saying, right? You'd eat the crap out of that, right? You really do love donuts, huh? Is there anyone who doesn't? Who on earth? No, who in the whole universe can say they hate donuts? Think about the sensation of biting into a donut. First the sweetness floods your mouth, then the soft dough cushions you. Next you get that hint of egg and butter, right? Your whole body starts to melt, you feel like you're falling into the center of the donut itself. When people talk about the donut effective, that's what they're talking about. That is absolutely not true. Oh, I can't take it anymore. I'm drooling like Niagara Falls over here. Get out of my way, Makoto, or I get an uppercut with your name on it. Uh, I'm not in the way. Wait for me, God of Donuts. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. Whenever I'm around her, I feel like I'm soaking in the essence of human vitality. Oh. We got the max number of skill points, and then we got an achievement for the skill points. After I watched her run off, I went back to my room. Damn, Makoto, come on. Get a get a new skill already. What was that achievement we got? Cleared the 20 SP threshold. Mm, I feel even worse than I did this morning. My body feels like lead, and now I'm getting chills. This is bad. I think I might be getting sick. All right, now uh, we should probably try and get some more Monokuma uh, gachapons if we can, because uh, I forgot that we we're supposed to give them all gifts. Okay, so let's try and get some good toys. And we have a lot of uh, coins, so let's try and use some more of these things. What's the max number of coins I can put in? This is where we get crazy, ladies and gents. Oh, I can really lower this percentage. Alright, so we have 200 something coins. We can make the repeat percentage zero. Damn, what if I put in like 15 coins? Damn, we got a repeat. Crap. Oh, we got a lucky. Something. Got another repeat. All right, let's go really seriously down. We're gonna go to zero repeat percentage. God, we're wasting so many coins right now. It's an expensive item. Yay, a pile of salt. It's uh, <laughs> Lot's wife. Is that too soon? Too soon for that joke? Oh, you got a fountain pen, okay. All right, that's some kind of perfume, I guess. We're using 10 on this one. Got a black telephone. Let's try one more coin. That one we already had, but what could we really expect for that? All right, now let's take a look. I don't really have a great uh, strategy now that we are getting close to the end, because how am I supposed to? How am I supposed to know like how many coins to put in? 
A basic seasoning produced from the evaporation of seawater. It also uses sea's use as a preservative. Okay. Blueberry perfume. Very popular with men these days. But to be honest, although it does attract the ladies, most guys hate the smell. Hmm. I feel like one of these is new. Did, we didn't have this many things in a row before. Or did we? Yeah, we did. Huh. I thought we got one more thing. Oh yeah, silent receiver. A phone that, for some unknown reason, doesn't let you hear the person on the other end and doesn't let them hear you. Pretty sure that's just a phone that does, isn't plugged in. Alright, uh... Pretty sure that's it. Okay, so now... Uh, where is everybody, first of all? Because they've changed their locations. Oh, they're all here now, okay. Let's go hang out with uh, Byakuya. That was our original plan. I have a weird suspicion here. I want to try this real quick. I just want to take a look through, uh, through this area. I don't know why. For some reason, I just think that to uh, uh, Kyoko is going to be out there somewhere. The mailbox. The handbooks of all the students who have died have been placed in here. The entrance is still blocked by that giant hunk of metal. Will we ever get it open? Nice! Aha! My, my instincts have, uh, have worked out this time. Alright, so, um... They were in the, the cafeteria, I think. Let's see what they're both saying before we choose one. Uh, Makoto, are you leering at me? What are you thinking? What are you planning to do to me? Uh... Scurrying around again, huh? Look, at, Looking at you makes me physically ill. Yeah, I guess we're supposed to... Let's do Byakuya. Fine, I don't mind allowing you to indulge my attention. I hope you appreciate this. Okay. Spend some time with Byakuya. Byakuya and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give him a present? Uh, yeah. I don't know what I would want to give him. I guess maybe we can give him, uh... There was a couple, like, valuable things here. What was this? Glasses. No, that would be for what's-his-name. Roller slippers. Chinchilla cover, I think we already gave him once. Hmm. Tumbleweed. I actually don't have an idea. Maybe a weapon of some sort? Golden gun? I don't know what he would want. Let's just give him the golden gun. He probably likes golden things. You bastard! How did you get your hands on this? Even the collective force of the entire Togami Corporation wouldn't be enough to obtain this gem. I I'm going to hold on to this. Seeing Vyakuya so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. Just to be clear, being the ultimate affluent progeny is only one of my many talents. Some people think I rely on the care and protection of the Togami name. Is this a monologue or something? <laughs> but I don't rely on my family. Rather, I am my family's savior. The Togami Corporation reaches across the world, true. But I will take us to even greater heights. It is expected of me, naturally. After all, even my own family has recognized my ultimate superiority. <laughs> In other words, even among the Togami family, I am the chosen among the chosen. So much confidence. And that confidence is justified, I assure you. It comes from the battles I've fought and won. Battles? <laughs> I am personally worth over four billion dollars, separate from my Togami family assets. Uh, how the heck did you make that much money? The stock market. 
I buy and sell shares and assets based on market trends all within a single day. Nanda. Surely even someone as simple-minded as you has heard of this technique. So he buys and stels, sells stuff on the stock market, doing everything in a single day. I think that's called trading cards. You're talking about day trading, right? And you were able to make four billion dollars doing that? Sold. Well, I first started doing it just to keep myself occupied. And before I knew it, there it was. It's really not a big deal. Uh, I'd say that's a super big deal. Wait, but are high schoolers even allowed to buy stocks? I'm Byakuya Togami. Is it meant to be an explanation? <laughs> Four billion dollars is nothing to the Togami Corporation, but for personal use, it's not bad. So now you understand, right? I'm not merely the child of modern day nobility. You know, Byakuya, maybe we should start calling you the ultimate day trader. <laughs> oh, I don't do that anymore. It was too simple, so I got bored of it pretty quickly. Jeez, you realize how insulting that sounds to the rest of us? <laughs> of course, that's how I feel about anything I do. Frankly, life is too easy. It's only natural for me to do whatever I want in this world. Man, he really is confident. We're like worlds apart. Galaxies apart. Damn, I don't think we got anything. Yeah, we just got skill points. One of these days, we're gonna get an actual skill. Still reeling from Byakuya's story, I went back to my room. I'm getting the chills. I feel kind of dizzy. I can't help it, I need sleep. Nighttime wasn't for a while, but I felt like my body had reached its limit. As I dropped into my bed, I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. I was unconscious before my head hit the pillow. Well, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went, consciousness went dim. I weaved back and forth between sleep and wakefulness, which is all to say, I was restless. Mm, mm. At some point, I found myself wandering through a strange dream. And within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. <laughs> that voice, it's so familiar. Oh, it's... <laughs> it's me. Huh? What am I trying to say? What was he having a sleep paralysis episode? Every day is peaceful. Every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unending happy days. Days of boredom repeating forever and ever. No abnormalities as far as the eye can see. Life without the tiniest speck of abnormality. <laughs> Uh, 
took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. Ah. I let out a deep sigh to bring myself up to the rest of the way. The chills, the aches, the unfathomable lethar lethargy, they had all disappeared in the night. All that was left was me, drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever bug I'd caught, either. It was also the dream I'd had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? I was desperate to recall it. I scrambled to grab onto the fragments of the dream and reel them up from the depths of my memory. That's right, I remember last night. I came down with a fever and I couldn't quite get to sleep. And I, I heard a voice, I didn't really understand, and then... All of a sudden I was awake. And there was a strange person standing next to my bed wearing a, a mask. And they were holding a knife. I want to say I fought them off, but I don't actually remember. I felt like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up with fever. I was somewhere far away, watching my body move on its own. And because of that, I don't remember what really happened. But still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly. After that, things went black again. The next thing I remember... Kyoko was there. But what would she have been doing in my room? What a strange dream. No, was it really a dream? How could I possibly find out either way? You know, we've never seen Kyoko and the masked guy in the same room at the same time. And Kyoko was, she was the one who led us into that one room that where we got taken out by the masked guy. Kind of worries me. Oh wait, what did he say? Is there any way to confirm if, if that really was a dream or not? Check the security camera. Was it a dream or did that really happen? The answer's not hiding behind this metal plate. No matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are following our every move. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does this place have? I open the desk drawer and... Huh? It's empty, there's nothing inside. Wait, nothing inside? That's strange, because it definitely wasn't before. I'm positive I put the knife I got from Toko in there. Wait, that means... The knife they told me to keep safe. I knew it. I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. But if that's true, this all makes even less sense. Why would someone have wanted to attack me? And who was that behind the mask? And why was Kyoko... What the hell is going on? Well, I don't think I'm going to figure it out on my own. I should head on out to the dining hall. Then I can talk to everyone else about it. Great, Makoto, you had one job. Don't lose the knife. And what did you do? You lost the dang knife. Oh. Ah, Makoto. Yeah, that's Makoto. Sure as the sky's blue. Hey, uh, Hina. You really had me worried, you know? What happened to you last night? Worried? Yeah, right after nighttime hit, we all went to get you. We were hamming our way at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been, you know. I mean, not that that actually happened. I mean, nobody here would want it, you know. So anyway, what were you doing? Well, I didn't feel so good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. But why did you come get me? Did something happen? Uh, well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Let's go meet up with everyone else, and then they can tell you about it. So is everyone waiting somewhere? Oh, yeah, we all stayed up the whole night. The whole night? I lost at rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. So you got here just in time. He come on, help me carry it. Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> Everyone's in the gym. Hurry up, I'll meet you there. The gym? Why is everyone in the gym? And the entire night? Ladies and gents, something's going on. And Makoto is getting sleep paralysis. Pretty scary stuff if you never had it before yourself. Guys, if you uh, want to see the next episode, you're going to have to wait a little bit. 
We are going to uh, continue this story next time. Guys, if you aren't already subscribed on the YouTube channel, make sure you do so so you can see these Dong and Rob episodes come out. They come out every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, four times a week. I will see you for the next one, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.